Okay. It is rolling. Okay, uh, I am here with uh, Rudy Duran. In uh, 1977, he shot a movie called Tilt. It, it, uh, and now it's resurfacing. Right. That's correct. After uh, it's been, it's been. Uh, there was a major lawsuit regarding creative rights in my film, and uh, it was a major lawsuit, and I represented myself, it went on for 10 years, and I finally was successful, and I, I've now retained all right time and interest in the movie, and I just left it after the lawsuit, I left it alone. I, uh, but now, because pinball seems to be bouncing up again, uh, the underground pinball, and of course, with Roger Daltrey coming out with, with the pinball wizard again, he just announced it's going to be coming out. Uh, I begin to look at it, and uh, different people have talked to me about we should get it back with the field. So I went out. And, uh, I'm sorry. Oh yeah, I mean I saw the movie. It, it's great. It's really wild because there's it's a snapshot of pinball from that time. It, it is like, because the movie, I think, in many ways, it's one of those. It's an old vintage movie, but the movie's made. It works today. Uh, no one has seen my version. My version is not being shown. My version is not being shown to anyone. Well, you were invited to come down here and see my. I'm not re-editing it. What I am doing is I got my final cut, and I'm doing the film. And what you were, you know, what you just viewed with this few days, is something that's going to be released in Blu-ray. But it's my final cut. I know this. The Warner version came out. Warner Brothers version came out. Yeah. And it wasn't successful. And there were rumors about how bad the movie was and all that. Yeah. And they were right. I mean, there, there are some aspects that are like yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know. And, that, and the Warner version. The Warner version came out. That not all of it. All, all of it was bad. But it's, people talked about the acting wasn't that great and so forth. But because it was convoluted and distorted. But now that I'm able to put the picture together the way I wrote it with the performance by the actors and also being able to use the pinball machine as a metaphor of life, I think what we have now, and you saw what I have, I think we got a major hit on our hands. And more importantly, it'll bring back, it's kind of a vintage movie, you'll be able to see the, the clothes, the cars, the time, oh, yeah. but I think that <laughs> there's some really I, cool I, I honestly believe those people who really love pinball and understand pinball are going to have a great little ride seeing this movie. You saw that yourself. I, um, yeah, I'm, I'm really excited about the re release, and I think the pinball community will be too. Uh, what, what, other, what are some other key aspects of the film that you're really excited about sharing with us? Well, I, I think once you see the movie, because I was fortunate to have a great cinematographer like Dick Klein. Uh, Richard Klein, who won the Academy Awards, uh -huh. he was the cinematographer for Camelot, King Kong, The Days of Wine and Roses, Body Heat. I surrounded myself with a lot of Academy Award nominees and winners in the picture, and we have a picture that nobody else has seen like this. Yeah. And basically, you're going to see, you're going to have a good rise if you like to see movies. This is an emotion picture. This is not Iron Man. So if you're looking for an action picture, you might this might not be your movie. But this is like the old time movies. It's a story. It's told cinematically, and I'm very proud of it. But the dialogue is unbelievable, and more importantly, the music. We have a soundtrack album. Yeah. It's a real rock and roll with no synthesizers and no sampling. It's got Brooke Shields in it. Too. Brooke Shields is in it. Charles oh. Durnin. Charles, Charles Durnin's great. Durnin. Yeah, he's, yeah, he's super great. awesome. And, <laughs> There's and, some amazing and, stuff. And, and Brooke Shields had never, never before acted. I, I had a chance to hire Jody Foster or Taylor Moneal. And what happened, I, I met Brooke socially with her mother, and I decided to go with her. She'd never been in the movie, as far as the lead of the movie. She'd done a small part in Pretty Baby, but this was the lead of the movie. And what I'm proud of her performance is how she stayed right with Charles Dern in a Broadway major theatrical yeah, the actor and also film actor. She really she really carried her own, and I'm very proud of what she did. And the rest of the actors, Lorenzo Lamas' first film, and other actors, Fred Ward. And, and, but overall, the, the picture is really vintage, and it's it's really art deco when you it's, see the It's movie. pretty exciting. I'm, I'm really excited about it. It's really yeah, exciting. and I'm so glad, because I think in the pinball world, this is, would be the first time that somebody will be able to see my version, my movie, as opposed to seeing the failed Warner Brothers version, which came out there, it was distributed shortly. There was some video that we pulled back, but, but the thing was that the audience never saw the movie the way I wrote it and directed it. What you saw was exactly how I wrote it and directed it. Oh, that's awesome. So when someone says, I've seen the movie, it's terrible acting, blah, 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 they're correct. They're correct. All right. You know? Cool. Well, thank you very much, Rudy. Really. My pleasure. All right. Good luck and looking forward to seeing you again. Pal. Thanks. Thank you.